Hey guys, it's me Active Exploit back again with a new video and uh, in today's video we are going to talk about a, a useful OSINT tool named as Profiler and uh, Profiler is actually a tool which can be used for uh, finding breached email addresses and social media accounts of the user specified alright and uh, it is actually current it, it's actually present on github so you can simply clone the tool from there but don't worry i'll be also guiding you through the installation process right uh, also i wanted to announce that our discord server is ready and uh, as soon as the video releases uh, i'll be including the link uh, to join the discord server in the description all right so if you want to join it you can simply click on it uh, you can simply click on the link uh, which is uh, which is given in the description below all right so uh, with that being said let's get started all right so let's get started off by the installation process of the tool so you can simply first of all open up your preferred uh, search engine and you can just you can just search up for something called pro filer and make sure that to add a 3 instead of e in profile all right and you should see first link over here which is um, a, a github repository so all you have to do is just simply open it up and now you can simply clone this right so basically there are two ways of installing this so one is by installing with pip which is uh, more uh, better okay it's recommended and another one is you can build it directly from source all right and it is recommended for developers so what we are going to do is uh, we, we, we will go with the pip installation method instead of directly you know building it from source but if you want to go with this uh, if you want to go with the source method all you have to do is just simply copy this command all right and I'll just open up a terminal and you can simply just paste this over here right and uh, it should start the installation of the tool so what I'll, I'll be doing is I'll simply close my browser I'll switch to root right so in order to install the tool using pip uh, all I'll be doing is I'll simply type pip3 install profiler also please make sure to include a 3 over here instead of the e in profiler right or else uh, you'll get an error so I'll just click on enter and it should start the installation process in my case I already have installed the tool so uh, here as you can see it says requirement already satisfied right uh, so now in, in order to use the tool we'll simply type profiler and as you can see it displays as the usage menu so first let's actually have a look at the help menu of the tool and it presents us the arguments to use all right so first of all you have to specify the dash p argument um, and it, it basically means you have to specify a username all right uh, a username to search as you can as you can see it says parts of the username that you are looking for uh, we also have one example over here which is john doe all right and then we specify the dash r flag so dash r flag is really not mandatory unless you want to you know pipe all the results um, in a separate file right so uh, now we are simply going to specify the dash p flag and uh, what I'll do is I'll be searching for John Doe right now it's going to ask us to select any one separator out of the three below so what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll be selecting the dot one I'll just play um, I'll just click on space um, or, and we can also select more than one I guess alright I'll be selecting the underscore one too and once you are done all you have to do is just click enter and now it's going to ask you to select any particular service to look for uh, alright so in this what you do is you simply choose the social media platforms where you where you want to search the username all right so we'll be looking for uh, steam we'll be looking for wordpress or let's not look for wordpress uh, we'll be looking for buy me a coffee we can look for spotify 
uh, we can look up for github pypy pastebin and for the social uh, social media accounts I'll be looking for Pinterest Instagram and I guess uh, that's all right so we, we'll just look for uh, these much uh, social media platforms for now so once you're done all you have to do is just simply click enter and it should start the search right so as you can see it says profiler is going to search um, uh, for, uh, search accounts on Spotify, Pastebin, PyPy and so on and as you can see we already have uh, results for Spotify so we have one user over here uh, we have one over here so let's actually inspect this alright I'll just open this up and uh, as you can see we get the John user over here but I want to look up for John Doe alright there we go we have this one so I'll just copy this and paste this over here and as you can see these profiles are actually legitimate alright so it, it actually finds out uh, the account of the user which you are specifying now it depends on you on what account you are looking for it may find it or it may not alright now uh, we can also look at um, pastebin so let's just copy the pastebin link over here I'll just open up a new tab and paste it over here and as you can see we have John Doe's pastebin and it has no public pastes so we can look up for another one which is over here John underscore Doe and it's the same alright so yeah, also this user is not having any sort of public pastes alright we can look up for um, github so let me just copy this one over here and as you can see uh, we get one profile for John Doe also over here right um, and we can also have a look at uh, Facebook but I guess Facebook won't uh, let me see the profile let's let's try it if it works nope uh, it won't let me you know look at the profile unless I log in uh, let's look at Instagram alright so we can just um, look at any of the profile let's just copy any of the profile uh, I'll be copying this one and as you can see uh, we also get the profile for John Doe over here uh, we can simply inspect the image but it won't let me do it I'll have to log in from login on Instagram and we can also have a look at Pinterest right so I'll be looking at this one and as you can see we get presented by John Doe's Pinterest profile alright so um, now finally let's have a look at one more uh, social media account which is on Twitter so I'll be copying any one of these uh, let's copy this one and as you can see we also uh, get the Twitter account for John Doe right uh, now this might not be uh, of one similar per person which, which you are looking for right it might be different accounts alright uh, so I previously said that the uh, the tool also displays email accounts of the user specified alright and uh, it also displays as whether that email account was breached or not alright and one good thing about it is that it also generates a report of the scan so that we can stay organized so what I'll be doing is I'll be running this scan uh, again but I'll be looking for email accounts and uh, I'll also be you know uh, I'll, I'll be piping the output to report so that we can analyze it and it is easy for us to stay organized so uh, to specify um, to to basically generate a report all you have to do is just specify the dash r flag and then you specify the folder name in which you want to keep your report so what I'll be doing is I'll just name it OSINT report 
and now I'll be selecting the separators so I'll be selecting dot dash and and underscore this time and over here uh, I'll also select email in order to you know uh, search for emails and rest of the things I'll be leaving them to what they are all right so I'll just click on enter and it should start searching so this can may take some time but uh, it should be done like it, it, it should not take much time it should be done like in a minute or so so I'll be resuming the video when it is done all right uh, so this scan is finally complete and this time if you notice uh, if you scroll above you will see one more section presented to us which is the email section all right and as you can see it contains the emails re uh, related to the user which we specified all right and uh, as you can see it also displays us whether the email is uh, found in a data breach or not right so what you can do is you can actually uh, look up for these emails if they are any uh, you know if they are included uh, included in any sorts of public page uh, public password dumps all right and you can try to find out whether any uh, credential is actually present in that particular password dump all right now if you scroll down as you can see it says uh, it has finally you know generated the report so it says that the html report was generated in the osint report directory so i'll just navigate to that directory osint report and as you can see uh, it generates the report in three formats so we have the csv format we have the html format and we have the json format so we'll be looking at the html format so i'll just change the directory to html and as you can see we have uh, we have our report over here so what i'll do is i'll open up my browser and now i'll simply go to i'll simply type file slash 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 home kali osint report reports html john underscore door dot html and uh, as you can see it is a very nice and a clean report over here and you get a search box over here in order to filter your results right uh, now let's say I want to search for emails as you can see once we type email uh, we have the uh, category section over here category table over here uh, the service row over here category row sorry for that uh, we have the profile row over here and the breached table uh, breached row over here right uh, now as you can see it displays us all the emails which were uh, which were associated to the user which we specified while we were searching all right and it also tells you whether the user was in a breached account uh, in a data breach or not right now let's say if i want to search for paste bin as you can see uh, we have the paste bin dumps over here we can find uh, users uh, there is nothing much new over here it was it is the same user uh, which we found earlier all right now let's say if I want to search for social media as you can see once we type social we get all the um, social media platforms where the user John Doe exists right um, and we can also search up for uh, let's say programming and we should see all the links uh, related to github right we should see all the user accounts um, uh, which are on github which are on PyPy and paste bin right so that's all for today's video um, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new from it also make sure to join the discord server uh, I'll be uh, including the links in the description below uh, so yeah I'll be seeing you guys in the next video till then stay safe and have a good day